What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Welcome to Dairy in this video here again today. We got a first look at Welcome to Dairy thanks to a new sizzle reel or whatever you want to call it that came out today from Max showing their upcoming 24 upcoming 2024 and 2025 slate of projects now the footage wants you to know that this ain't america this is dairy according to some character who said this in the footage that was released it was really short really short because again it was basically part of a showcase of their upcoming slate for the year 2024 and 2025 more than anything else so it wasn't a first official teaser trailer or anything like that the cast we know for the show includes Giovanna depo taylor page chris chalk madeline stow and a few others i'm drawing a blank on right now there's actually more footage from filming that exists online because we know that they were filming prior to the strikes. They're going to resume filming, which I'll get into that shortly here. There's some footage online, though, of these kids in town during filming, jumping another kid, and it just highlights some of the locations that we are likely to explore in this show. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description for those who missed that in the past. Filming for the upcoming prequel series to Andy Muschietti's 2017 and 2019 films is expected to resume on January 24th and it will last until June 28th according to the Directors Guild of Canada hot list. The show was slated to air next year in October but will now debut in 2025. Andy we know will return to direct some episodes including the pilot episode and here are the plot details that Production Weekly previously reported on. So Welcome to Dairy is set in the 1960s Four kids in a town bordering an Air Force base with a mysterious special projects bunker search for a friend of theirs who disappeared mysteriously. Now, there's a moment in the footage that was dropped where a hand seems to grab a boy. So is this the disappearing friend in question? That's a possibility. We get another look at what I can only assume is Pennywise taking the form of someone's dead wife or someone's mother. There's a shot of the iconic red balloon there's a shot of a man looking up at said red balloon actually i think that's the same shot but seems to be looking up at a red balloon from below a tree branch or whatever he's looking at we have shots of our new losers our new losers club present if you want to call them that but there was no sight of bill skarsgård no no bill skarsgård spotting or spotting in this footage now i will say this bill of course in the past has stated he's not involved at the time of the interview that i believe he did with jake's takes when he said this but then jeff snyder who has been right on several occasions says that he's heard Skarsgård is working on a deal to return despite his initial claims now granted this was back in april when jeff said this i don't know if that has fizzled out or anything about that i haven't heard too much on if bill Skarsgård has actually inked the deal to appear in the upcoming project i will probably know when you guys know uh, I expect him to be back. That's my God honest opinion on it. I expect him to be back. If he's not back, that's fine. Keep in mind, we already have two people who have successfully in, I would say, a lot of people's opinion, successfully two people have played the character of Pennywise. What's the big deal with a third? As long as you're doing a great job, as long as the makeup is scary, as long as it's convincing, I don't see the big deal. I do see the big deal, though, about the need to preserve the fact that these are still Andy's iterations of it, so why not have Skarsgård? Which is why I'm inclined to think that they're gonna actually still have him involved. He might come in very late and shoot whatever scenes are needed to be shot with him in makeup, because the other important thing to consider is this, maybe Pennywise doesn't appear a lot. Granted, the show is supposed to dive into his origins, but we know Pennywise can take the shape of many things. It's a shapeshifter. So maybe we just see this shapeshifter in full effect and we won't get to see Bill Skarsgård because it won't be necessary. And it's just going to be the shapeshifter it taking the form of many other things that we know it can do. Maybe Bill Skarsgård will have a limited presence as the clown. Granted, I know that's not what most people would prefer, but maybe that's the route they decide to go with. We'll have to just wait and see. I still think he will appear. Um... We know we'll see more of the Bowers family, too, because Clint Bowers, who is chief of police, according to Andy Muschietti's social media post from earlier this year, he's going to make an appearance as well. I've done videos in the past. This is like a six month old video at this point where I revealed that the third episode in the show is actually titled Now You See It or Now You See Me or something like that. We'll see if that actually sticks. I talked about details from a casting call, which I will leave links to in the description if you want to watch that video as well. 
uh, going over some of the characters who apparently will appear in the upcoming Welcome to Dairy show. Again, it was a very short video that was dropped. It wasn't anything overly long, nothing that was an official teaser trailer of any sort of thing. It was like five or six seconds, maybe even less of footage of Welcome to Dairy with somebody saying this, this ain't America, this is Dairy, as if Dairy isn't in <laughs> America. We know it is because it's in Derry, Maine. What is Maine? A state, a, a state in America. Well, whatever. We know they're just trying to hype up that Maine and Derry, Maine in specific is not like any other place in America. A lot of bizarre crap goes on there, especially when you have something like Pennywise stalking and terrorizing you every 27 years or so, I believe is the lore. 27 years. I was starting to gonna say 23, but that's not Pennywise. That's the creeper. But what did you guys think about the footage that came out? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was just too short to really make up your mind on it do you care if bill skarsgård is going to be back or not why or why not if bill skarsgård does not come back who do you think would be a suitable replacement or do you just think they shouldn't even do it without bill skarsgård because i'm sure some of you out there think that they shouldn't even bother doing it without skarsgård because it would be uh, going against the fact that this is still andy muschietti's iterations of what he started in 2017 with bill skarsgård uh let me know all of that down in the comment section below what do you think is going to happen in a episode three with a title like that now you see it i'm assuming it would have something to do with pennywise's origins that's the safest bet i would have to assume right now without having more information i do and then intend to do recaps of the show when it's airing on max next not next year but in 2025 it was supposed to air next year sadly it's not we'll get it in 2025 i'll do recaps i'll do a review you know the whole shebang that i usually do with these horror shows but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video